Here at Four Wheel Drive Toyota Owner Magazine, we've installed a pickup bed drawer storage system by Dect. Very impressed with this uh, engineering. Really heavy duty. Terrific handles. The drawers are full bed length, so depending on the length of, the, of your bed. They also have great accessories such as these toolboxes that fit right into the drawers and don't slide around. There's extra space under there that you can't see in these pictures and I stuck one of the uh, big toolboxes back there. Free shipping. They have free shipping included in their price and it comes via freight right to your door. No picking it up off somewhere at the local city drop off. Uh, Unboxing, the first thing I noticed was these tubular steel cross beams. They give it extra support. Uh, no wonder they can handle 2,000 pounds. The textured uh, logo on top keeps things from sliding around pretty well. Then we get down to all the goodies. Uh, all the goodies have uh, the little extras that you can get from toolboxes to uh, tie down system that I have here come with uh, instructions for each item and the instructions are really well done not to mention uh, funny as well uh, they did a really really good job with the instructions the toolboxes such as the larger toolbox comes with uh, some dividers in there and there's some more little extras in this box including some hats which I wasn't expecting, which was a nice little bonus. There's a plug for a four-wheel drive Toyo in our magazine. Uh, that's our logo. So we have set everything out uh, and organized it, make sure that it, everything was there. So we did a nice little layout. You can see all the uh, pieces and parts that we're going to be installing, including the little extras uh, and the uh, toolboxes. Um, again, each item comes with instructions. Um, as well as uh, uh, hints and tips uh, and pitfalls uh, during the install. The, uh, all the pieces are really heavy duty. This is not some cheap Chinese knockoff. Uh, an example here is like one of these drawers has this uh, angle iron running the length of it uh, that provides uh, more stability which no wonder these things can hold 200 pounds. Uh, the center beam that helps hold that 2,000 pounds of cargo uh, is also extremely sturdy. Uh, this is a well-engineered bed storage system. It's the C-channel for the wheels and the wheels themselves are sealed bearing wheels, very sturdy, not to mention very soft as well. The screw holes are brass, that'll keep things from rusting out. Here's another video of the cross beam, the integrated metal tube, makes a really sturdy structure. Even their toolboxes are extremely sturdy. The larger one comes with dividers which is nice and it's got this seal to keep the water out as well so if you don't keep it in the drawer no water gets inside the toolbox itself. It's a watertight seal. It's, it, it's pretty slick. And then you set that toolbox into the drawer itself fold the handle down and the drawer closes. All right, now here we go with the uh, install. So you gotta put these shims in for the ammo boxes to sit on. And you've got to also take your, well in the Toyota Tundra, you remove the original equipment tie downs, both uh, front and back, and replace them with the decked system tie downs. Disadvantage of a Tacoma is that you will have to do some drilling, but with a Tundra, there is no drilling into your vehicle. You use all the original screws and put in their tie downs. 
So this is the ammo can where everything is supported in the corners. And if you've got an open bed like mine, you got to put in water drip holes. Water does get into these ammo cans uh, and it just needs somewhere to go. So since I have an open bed, I put the holes in so the water can drain. Alright, once you get the ammo cans drilled, then you put on that sea rail. And it's important to get the bolts in there correctly. You don't want the bolt sticking in towards the wheel, so you have the bolt sticking in towards the ammo can. So you take the bolt from the C channel into the ammo can. Otherwise, it runs into the wheels when you try to open and close the deck system drawer. All right. Now we're putting the deck on top of the ammo cans and that center beam. It fits together like Legos. I mean, there, there's no question, is this in there? Is this lined up? Once you get it lined up, backside has uh, screw holes, of course, and the front side, or the cab side, there are some bolts you have to put in with a nylon nut, so you know those aren't going to loosen. And in the instructions, it tells you to always hand tighten all of these, and that's true because you don't want to torque these things down tight because you can really strip these things out. Of course, I'm going to cheat because you know I like to get things done, but I got a really low torque on there, and I went back and had to hand tighten each one of them at gray put them in. Alright, drilled holes in the ammo can, put the C-channel into the ammo can, remembering what direction the bolts go. Make sure that you don't interfere with the wheels. And then we take the driver's side top deck and then you, you place it on top of the ammo cans and you're going to set it on the, the center beam just to hold it in place while you assemble those ammo cans. Onto the uh, top of the deck. Alright now so you got two halves assembled with the ammo cans and you just set it into the bed of your truck and it's it's not difficult and it lines up perfectly and it it's like I said before it's like Lego pieces alright so here's the hook uh, that you gotta install and hook onto those tie downs that you've installed already and I you can't get a camera in there, it's mostly by feel, but you can easily feel where it's supposed to go. Uh, here's the, the back end. You set the hook in there, put this spherical washer over the screw from the inside of the ammo can, put a washer over the top of that and the nylon nut over that, and you don't want to tighten this down until after you get the center bolts in. Uh, now here's a photo of that hook and you just set them there, just hand tighten them and you load up the other half the thing practically assembles itself. Put the hooks in, again hand tighten just enough to keep it in place There's the nut. And then you go through and you put the rest of the center support screw or bolts in and then you hand tighten them. And you do not have to torque on these and it, it, it's explicit in the instructions. All right, so now I'm putting on the tie downs. This is a low profile tie down system. And they have two types and I like this, this particular type. 
and they have dimples of where to drill. And you got to drill through the plastic and then through one of the tubular I-beams that run, run across and you only want to drill through one side. And of course here I'm trying to follow the rules of no power tools just to get a good feel for it. But you drill through one side, otherwise you're going to have leaks. If you drill through both sides of that I-beam that runs across there, that metal I-beam that runs across, uh, it will leak. And, it, and again, in the instructions, it's very explicit about, yes, it will leak. Drilling hole for the cab side. Again, there's dimples. I uh, almost made the mistake of drilling into the wrong end. There is a forward and a rearward direction to these tie-down systems. So watch out for that. You, you could miss the, misalign it and then you've drilled holes right into your deck system that, that was waterproof. Again, you can feel what, that you run into the metal, and then as soon as you pop through one side, that's it, you're done. I used, shortened up my drill so I couldn't drill through both ends. Screw the screw down, and with all the screws, and they're heavy duty screws, feels pretty confident that anything I tie down is not going anywhere. And this is a, and I love this system. It's quick connect, slide, move, position it. Once you get it into position, it's locked in. It ain't going anywhere. So again, careful of the rail system. There are dimples in here that show you right where to deal, drill, and you can uh, see uh, where you need to be drilling. So watch out for that one. So careful about directions. Here's the plugs. Now, you can get an accessory plug to drain your drawer. Now why would you want to drain your drawer? Uh, if you wanted to fill it with ice and beer? Well, let's keep this family friendly. Soda? You gotta drain that water out of there and there's a real pain in the butt to try to get these drawers out once you've installed them. So you want to be able to drain something, you gotta, you gotta have a drain. So you drill a hole for the drain, put a uh, couple of screws in there, keeps it watertight, but also allows you to drain that drawer of liquids. And all right, so you don't put ice in there to cool down your beverages, but perhaps you spilled something in there and you want to wash it out with water. This allows you to do just that. It will drain the water out by just unscrewing the plug, let it drain, screw the plug back in, watertight again. All right, so now we're at the assembly of the cab side. Bearing wheel support. And these engineers, they are educated, they knew. because not only was it a, a great fit, but also uh, they looked for the weak points. They must have gone through a lot of different prototypes to get this one right. Now also included is a crossbar. You can see it right about here. And that crossbar is providing extra support so it doesn't warp on you when you're opening and closing and setting stuff into it. We must have gone through a lot of different types of pro or a lot of different prototypes to get this system right. Installing the wheels again, you don't have to torque them down hard. You just have to get them on there tight. So they don't loosen on you. And definitely just tighten it by hand. And do not torque hard on these things. 
but now that the rear wheel or the cab side wheel is installed, now you get to just slide that drawer in right into the C-rails. And after that, it's time to install the rear wheels. And I don't have video of that because there just wasn't an angle to see. It's, it's a lot done by feel and you need someone else to kind of help jimmy that into the right position and place and tighten them down. But once you do, C-channels are just butter. They glide like butter. There's that angle iron. We decided on a lock system because I don't have a locking tailgate. So I can lock these drawers. It's a good handle and they install one side for you. So you get one already installed. It gives you a great example of what it should look like and feel like. They don't leave you on your own to figure it out. They actually give you an example. Weather strip for on the back, it does keep it watertight. You gotta get the weather strip facing the correct direction and it's printed on the weather stripping what direction it's supposed to face. And it, it does make a tight seal. And you can feel it when you close it. And so that's the install. Full bed length drawers. So check out our article in the magazine, read more up. I use my drawers for all of my kitchen equipment. It all fits in there rather nicely. The tie down system on the top of the deck keeps my stuff from shifting around. I use the ammo box for things I know can get wet, such as my drag chain. And there's me setting up my kitchen in the middle of nowhere takes me about five minutes with this drawer system. Easy to get to, don't have to unload my whole truck to do it. It's fabulous. Alright, thanks for watching.